Brock. My surname is Dudu. Uh, I am new at the school, and this is my first um, time participating to a um, competition. Uh, my topic is about Mars. Uh, why are we going to Mars? Is a trip to Mars inevitable? I don't think the mankind will be able to survive unless we spread out into the space. Do you think that's true? You think that's true? Hmm, okay. Did you know that at the era of dinosaurs, the global temperature of Earth was 30 degrees Celsius? But today, the average temperature of Earth is global average temperature of Earth is 30 degrees, uh, 14 degrees Celsius. So theoretically, we are still in the Ice Age now. So when Hawking says this, that doesn't seem like. His first concern isn't global warming. So let's go deeper. All historical records indicate that <clears throat> Homo sapiens is a seri ecological serial killer. The oceans we pollute, the forests we destroy, the creatures we consume are extinct the plants we genetically modified, our toxic chemical waste, our air pollution, <clears throat> increasing cases of cancer, increasing allergic diseases, global epidemics. Meet Mars. So why Mars? Because we have known since ancient Greece. Because of, it, it red, because of its red color, Romans associated with blood, so they named it after their god of war, Mars. We were able to collect data by drilling. Mars can be reached with a journey last, lasting 6 to 12 months. It's thought that it will have a climate that can be experienced in the coming millennia or millions of years. Oh, I'm sorry. I passed this. Um, futurists think that Mars, that we can, uh, we will be able to establish colonies on Mars after a hundred years. If we admit it or oh, eh, yeah. It's thought that it will have a climate that can be experienced. Oh, um, I just messed it up. Um, <laughs> whether we admit it or not, we're not being nice to Earth. Um, if we treat, if we even treat them all well, well or not, the facts of astrophysics say the as our sun grows. Our Earth will fall into an uninhabitable climatic zone. But there isn't anything to worry about now. Because a person's life is too, too short to see this change. The main source of in, um, concern is our instincts. Which when it does ecological serial killers, which we have to take with us when we are when we have to leave our earth. Nevertheless, that's good to be optimistic. Thank you for the time you spent on me. Thank you very much for your nice presentation. I was amazed to know all those nice details. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Okay. You told us uh, we Homo sapiens are serial. Yeah. And you're talking about going to Mars. Yeah. Which is easier, stopping the serial killers or finding a way to go to Mars? Finding a way to going to Mars. Is easier. Yeah, because you can't stop because it's in our genetic. Yani, <laughs> it's genetic, like 
our instincts uh, made us uh, ecological serial okay. killers. Okay. But we we are curious, so we are curious about Mars, and uh, people can go to Mars easier. Like uh, I said, six to twelve months, but it isn't anything like how we got to America. Think about that. We got here with boats. Mm -hmm. Now we are going Mars with spaceships. Okay. So, uh, have you watched any films about, uh, you know, uh, a journey to the Mars or outer space? Uh, I haven't watched, but I did some searching mm -hmm. uh, and I watched some uh, TV programs mm -hmm. uh, and that, the, that says uh, our world will fall into an habitable climatic okay. zone. Uh, and I did a lot of searching, I can say. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Omer Burak. Uh, you can go now, thank you. Okay, thank you.